uh, GitHub branching. So this is the fourth module uh, for the AC400. And in this uh, uh, module, we are going to talk about how to structure your Git rep. What is the Git branching workflow? Uh, how you can collaborate with the pull request into Azure repo. So I have shown you these things before as well and and, and I have just, uh, just gone through those how you can go ahead and design the branching strategy and you can create a pull request. Okay, so those things you will be able to see here and we'll talk about the forking. So how you can fork your repository, how you can manage the Git repository and, and those things you have as part of this lab. So if you if you talk about this structure of the GitHub, we talk about the monolithic and and the and the, and the uh, microservices kind of architecture. So if you're seeing the monolithic versus uh, uh, my, uh, multi repository, okay, monolithic means we have a, a one repository which keeping all those code in in one repository okay so you have a web application you have a service layer you have a database layer everything you are creating as a one application and you are putting into repository but now we are moving towards a multi repository just now we have seen we can go ahead and create a multiple repository one for the web application another for the documentation another for the database another we can create for the web application and another thing which you can create so we can have a multiple repository inside one project okay so that's what we have seen here uh, uh, just i'm going to repeat once again so when you are into the paths unlimited okay you can click on this plus symbol and you can add a repository okay what you can do you can go ahead and add a new repository here uh, let me go to mm -hmm. yeah here you can add a new repository if i say i'm adding a new repository means within this parts unlimited you want to add a more repository okay so i can say this is my document repository i want to create something called uh, my uh, db repo okay so i can say this is my db repo so that you can go ahead and hit create so one more repository got created now i can push the database related changes here i can go ahead and create a new repository i can say this is my service repository okay or you can say the web service repository okay web service repo so what is this mean you want to have a multiple repository within the one project you have a multiple repository and that can be created that's what we are seeing the multi repository now we are moving towards and which we can develop in in, in instead of uh, keeping everything in as a one source control we can have a multiple repository available into the application okay into into the one project Okay, uh, the benefit which you are going to get it from the multiple repository, so you can have a, a, a separate development and testing you will be able to achieve. Okay, so uh, separately you can test all those repository. You can reduce the code complexity. So we are separating a repository. So you are going to reduce a code complexity. You can go ahead and review the code effectively. Okay. So why you can review the code effectively? Maybe uh, maybe some uh, architect is uh, uh, a database architect. He can review the your 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 uh, database related stuff very quickly or easily. If you are having a uh, someone who is the middleware or integration architect, he can look at the integration layer properly. Someone is the web app application or dotnet export he can go and look at the dotnet codes properly so everywhere the code quality and code review could be the easy for the uh, multiple repository if you are going to use it within the one project okay also you can have a common project okay so you can create another repository which can have a class library for you okay so that is a common project which you can separate it uh, from your main repository and you can keep it separately into the another repository and which could be a common component or dls which you can keep it over there okay so those things you will be able to achieve using a multi repository uh, 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 architecture okay monolithic will become a uh, uh, very uh, bulky and, and 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 it's very e not easy to maintain and those things you will be not be able to uh, do using a, a monolithic repository kind of thing 
So this is talking about implementing a change log, how you can go ahead and implement a change log, a tracking, those things you will be able to do. Okay, so you can see here you have something called git log, you have a GitHub change log, uh, uh, can do the changes manually, can be done automatically, can, you can combine a multiple change as well. So those things you will be able to implement a change log process into your application and uh, uh, being a, a multi-repository you can have those uh, uh, separately and you can maintain those separately very lightweight even you can have it as a distributed you can clone those repository directly into the, your local system now if you're going to talk about something called git uh, git flow branching okay so git flow branching is going to talk about uh, something which you can go ahead and create a feature branching we'll talk about the feature branching before as well Okay, so let's suppose that you have uh, 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 something uh, you want to develop for your if application. So you can go ahead and create a dedicated branch. From the master branch, what we have did, we have pulled a new branch called a feature branch or the development branch, okay, where we are going to do a development, okay, for the particular changes, okay. So that's what we create a feature branch instead of doing the uh, changes directly into the master branch. We are going to create a feature branch and that feature branch we are going to develop a new feature, a new functionality for your application. Git flow branching is going to help you in terms of a, a, a strict branching model, okay, for your um, for your design or you can say your release basically you are going to use the git flow branch another thing which you are able to do using a forking what is this forking is forking is basically you are going to create a server side repository into your project okay if i go here into the branch okay if i'll go into this branch here one minute so if i go into the into this uh, repository and uh, and I, I'll, I'll click on the fork here okay what this fork does fork creates one more uh, a branch okay so if I say parts unlimited and uh, I say this is my fork branch okay so just I say this is my fork branch Okay, so what do you mean by that? You are going to create a parallel branch. Okay, so uh, one more uh, repository you have created. We have already the part unlimited. Another branch has been created. Uh, another repository has been created here. That is a fork branch. Why we are using a fork branch? Fork branch is basically used in order to create a parallel branch from the master. Okay, so your already master branch is running. I want to create some a beta release kind of thing. Okay, so new feature which I want to introduce. I don't want to touch the existing code. Existing code may be running on the production or may other development is going on. I don't want to do any changes in that branch. So what I'll do, I'll create a fork of that branch. Okay, so another server side branch will be get created so that I can start a beta development parallelly onto this branch. Okay, and later on, once the development is done, I can go ahead and deploy using this branch or you can, you can merge the into the main branch as well. So that you will be able to do using a forking of the branch. Okay, so this is what it is calling a branch forking. Okay, and, and basically you are going to do a evaluation of the workflow and those things, team size and that, that always you are going to take in consideration. So what you are going to do with the feature branch? So if you look at the feature branch, okay. So feature branch, you are going to create a new branch from the master branch. You are doing the commit operation. You are doing, a, a, you are creating a, something called pull request, okay. You are going to discuss, uh, discussing the review and the changes which has been done in the code. You are going to deploy those changes to the production and finally merge into the master branch. So this is what it, the feature branch works with that. Okay, so how the feature branch is working? Your uh, your one of the master branch, sorry. one of the master branch is running parallelly. So this is your master branch, and you can say this is my uh, master branch. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this branch out. 
okay so this is my feature branch so i can say this is my feature branch okay and once i take a copy from the master branch i'm going to create a branch okay so i have created a new feature branch i'm going to do the changes i'm going to create a everything is done i deployed into production and once the deployment is done i'm going to merge back to the master okay so the latest code whichever is deployed into the production i am available it's available into the master branch so that's what we follow the feature branch workflow or you can say the merging strategy or the branching strategy which we follow into your organization now if we look at this git flow work uh, git flow branching okay so this is the one of the branching strategy which we can follow that is called git flow branching strategy so in this model we are going to have a master branch okay we are going to create a something called development branch okay and we are going to create a release branch or the feature branch from the development branch now you can see here uh, there is a something called development branch which has been came from the master branch so now we are having a two parallel branch which is running up in the earlier we had only something called a master branch and we had something called feature branch so only two branch was running parallelly okay now in this branch branching design we have a three workflow running parallelly okay now what is happening here we have a master branch so this is my master from the master i'm going to run a, another branch called development branch okay so this is your development branch and from the development branch now if i do a, want to develop i want to do a development now i'm not going to pull the code from the master branch i'm going to pull the code from the development branch and now i'll create a something called release branch or the feature branch and i do a development and then i go back merge to master dev and then merge to uh, something called a uh, dev and then merge to the master so that's what it happens here so once that is completed then you are going to merge back with the development and the issue uh, uh, with the master you are going to do and another thing which you are going to do which is called hot fix so whenever you are going to do a hot fix well, hot fix means any bug has came on to the production okay so let's suppose that any issue has happened or or but user is not able to do or i need to do i immediately fix those branches so that work always happen into the master branch okay so for that you are not going to create uh, another separate branch because that need to be fixed immediately so whenever you want to do a hot fix anyone is asking you how to how you are doing a hot fix uh, uh, uh methodology or how you are uh, working with the hot fix branches we can and take a copy directly from the master branch okay take a copy of the master branch into your visual studio or any other development fix it test it and merge it back and this is immediately we have to do within one day or two days time we have to fix it and deliver it to the production so that's why we don't create and we don't go into the complexity of those uh, uh, creating a release or creating a feature immediately we can go ahead and do the hot fixes onto the master branch so whenever the of the and 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 what the other has to do whenever you are doing a hot fix immediately the other developer has to take a copy of the master branch okay so that's what it happens let me try to write a uh, 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 design into the paint so that you can understand this okay so what happens here let's suppose that this is my master branch okay and master branch copy is going parallelly here okay so you are doing some development uh, you are not going to do the changes into development this is the your production copy now you need a copy okay so this is my development environment okay so this is my development branch which is running parallelly to that okay whenever user need a uh, 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 you uh, i have to develop a copy of that okay i need to uh, do some changes into the code or anything which i have to do i am going to take a copy from the development so this is my dev branch dev branch for the development team this is my master branch for my master uh, for the production copy okay so this is my master copy 
and uh, if I need to do the development, what I will do, I'll take a copy from this. Okay, I'll create another parallel branch here. Okay, and this is my feature branch. This is my feature branch. Okay, and I am going to do the development in the feature branch. Once we are good with the development branch, we are going to merge back to the development, and development will get merged to the uh, something called a. Uh, then this changes get merged to the master. Okay, and what happens? Uh, 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 you are going to raise a uh, something called pull request here. Okay, so once your development is done. Uh, you are going to raise a pull request. So you raise a pull request. Pull request. So once you raise a pull request, you want to merge those code from the feature to dev. Okay. So you raise a pull request. And once you raise a pull request, your architect is going to review here. Once architect has reviewed the code, once architect has reviewed the code, that goes to the development and once it is goes to development your deployment or ci cd pipeline will start running so from here your uh, i'm just writing here your uh, your ci cd phase start means your deployment and the de uh, build and deployment Okay, is this clear for everyone? Are you able to understand any question? Uh, so this is my master branch, another parallel branch which is running a development branch. If I need to develop a new feature, I'll take a copy from the development branch. I will do the development. I will test, do the unit testing and everything here into the feature branch. Once I am comfortable with that, I need to deploy into the higher environment. What I will do, I will raise a pull request. I will discuss with my architect and so that architect can review my code. And once the code is reviewed, I am going to push those feature branch changes. Okay, once the pull request is approved, it will automatically go and merge the code. And once the code is merged to dev, my CI CD pipeline will execute. It will try to build an application and it will try to do a, uh, your build deployment uh, deployment will happen on to the different environment it can go to the testing environment it can go to the production environment and other environment it will go ahead and deploy those applications okay so that's what it is happening here and then once the deployment is done into the production we are going to merge this to the product uh, to the master branch now how you are doing the hot fix the question comes here so the same thing which I was showing here if you want to do a hot fix let's suppose that um, an issue has came here into the master okay <coughs> during other development is going on parallelly what you have to do you have to just pull a code from the master branch for the hot fixes you are going to do the hot fixes here okay and once the hot fixes are done, you are going to immediately merge back the code back to the master. So the hot fix you are going to do and merging back to the master. You just need to modify few line of the code, which is going to do give a quick fix for the issue onto the production. So that's what you do. The hot fix always happen on a master branch. And because this is the hot fix, you are going to modify a few line of the code this development or this feature branch doesn't have that copy now thus either dev has to get updated from the master branch now the development need to be updated or development can go and pull the code latest code uh, from the master or the feature can go and pull the code from the master and do the development and later on merge because otherwise you will face a code conflict again here because the code has been updated directly onto the master and you will face a code conflict when you are going to merge here into this uh, into in, in this stage when you are going to merge to the master so make sure your hot fixes need to be uh, updated with the dev and feature branch Okay, so is this clear for everyone? This is a, a, a important thing which you have to understand the merging strategy. Okay, so how this uh, source control and merging strategy has to be happen into your organization and, and, and that's how you have to design the application uh, uh, to change the code. Okay. Okay, so that's what I want to show here. So this is what a uh, bucket flow branching talks about here. And if you look at the uh, something called uh, forking workflow, so how this forking, just now I've created a forking branch. Uh, 
and you have seen that forking branch basically uh, uh, does uh, does uh, 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 something called uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, create a forking branch this is I again server side branch and basically that is used for uh, some kind of uh, you can say uh, uh, for the uh, beta releases so you if you want to do uh, some code changes and you are developing a beta release for your organization you can go ahead and and create a, a beta release using a, a parallel branch which is available as a forking branch and and that you will be having a two parallel branches available onto the server and always you can go ahead and modify those and you can uh, uh, change that that accordingly next if you are talking about something called collaborating with the pull request so how you can go ahead and create and collaborate with the pull request okay so uh, whenever we are going to do the branching okay so when we do a branching okay so developer is going to do a development and when we are going to merge we look we, we say this is this is the pull request which has been raised okay so this is the pull request has been raised once the pull request review has been happened the code is going to merge to the main branch that discussion has to be happened okay and discussion is should be the healthy discussion has to be happened with the developer and the architect so that you can reduce the technical depth and 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 proper code review has to be happened collaborating with the app uh, with the uh, developer the feedback exchange has to be happened and those things uh, uh, should be there in order to understand and and what are the code changes has happened why this code changes happen uh, what is the reason for doing change why can't do we do like that so those question has to be arise and, and we need to discuss about those code before we go for the code review uh, this is just uh, uh, something called uh, a mobile application for the github so github is having a mobile application which you can go ahead and download and this is basically helping you or, or helping your project manager or architect to do a code review directly to the mobile application so if they are on the remote place they can they don't have access of your uh, of your um, laptop or or, the, in, uh, or the, the the fast internet connection they can go ahead and review those pull requests and uh, uh, into the, the into the application they can they can they can go ahead and and uh, review and uh, they can add the comment they can they can in include uh, uh, their comments over there and finally they can push those changes back to the repository and for the our developer for the review so this is just talking about the mobile application uh, there are something called a uh, git hook okay so we have uh, some policies you can say this is a, a policy which we wanted to enforce into the uh, your branches okay so any kind of policy which you want to enforce into your repository like uh, uh, who need to review what are the need to review or or pre approval post approval those kind of a strategy and the policy which you want to ensure in term of a consistency uh, or or the controlling of the environment you can go ahead and implement using git hooks okay so that is available into your uh, devops okay so that a kind of policy uh, uh, like who can do the check-in who can do a code review who can who can who can, who can, who can uh, control those environment that kind of thing you will be able to do using a git hook action so this is what git hook action is so uh, so uh, this is the something called uh, uh, break after code, uh, uh, something called uh, uh, drop uh, the code coverage, okay, uh, uh, taking the new dependency. So these are the few actions or dependency which you can go ahead and define, which is which is mentioned here, so that you will be able to integrate uh, using the git hook action. This is again talking about the forking, so forking uh, the pull request, okay, allowing anyone to contribute, okay, so that you will be able to do. Okay, so if you have the more numbers of changes that will help you to incorporate using the git hooks, okay. 
this is trying to implement a fork so just you are going to fork this branch just now we have did so this is the just uh, forking a branch okay thing uh, basically you are trying to share a same code with the different branch okay on the server side so that you will be able to do it uh, this is just to clone a repository. So if you want to clone a repository, you have something called git clone. Okay, hyphen hyphen dev clone URL. So basically it is it is copying the long history hyphen hyphen dev means it is trying to copy the all those history from the server. Okay, long binary file is also supported. So you have a git virtual file system. So long binary file is also supported into the uh, by your github. Okay this is just uh, uh, how you can push the repository data so you can reduce the uh, repository size and then you can go ahead and, and push those size back to the repository so you can delete the file you can replace the file so those things are, are just available here into the repository